All right, welcome back. Tom Witoski, the shovel. He lugs the shovel, the shh. You know where I'm going, it, yeah. Bottom line is, did a good job in the Des Moines Register of compiling all those financial figures. The Iowa Cubs deal is flat out laughable. They have a stadium down there and their lease is $16,000 a year for 71 home dates. They've got concessions, they get parking, they've got ad revenue. I mean, the signs in the outfield at Principal Park Sec Taylor, you can't even read them for crying out. It's like an eye chart. You don't need to send your kids to the eye doctor. Just bring them to an eye Cubs game and let them read this, the, you know, like this. Acme Plumbing. Wells Fargo Bank. W-E-L-L-S-F. It's unbelievable. They get to keep all that revenue. Now you look at their deal. They got a brand new field. They get new turf in there. They got a superintendent. The place looks absolutely posh. Not jealous, I'm glad. The Iowa Cubs are a roaring success. Cash cow. Sticking a couple million bucks in each of their pockets, as well they should. But on the flip side of the coin, look what happened to the chops. The energy has a, a deal. They don't get any concessions. Global Spectrum pockets that money. Bottom line, no parking revenue. Very little advertising inside the building. They don't get the sweet lease money. They, don't get the, or they get to keep the sweet rental money. How many people really get sweets to an Iowa energy game? Answer, few or none. I mean, that's the bottom line. The hockey deal was a disaster. The Barnstormers, on the other hand, pretty good job there. They draw. It's football. I mean, you can put football out on a pond in the middle of Norwalk, for crying out loud, and people in Iowa will go watch it. Football is king here. But what the Polk County Supervisors and Global Spectrum have done here is basically they set people up to fail. And there are people stupid enough to think that they can make a go of it. They really do. They just go into it headlong. They're out of towners. They come in here. They look at all the nice people of Des Moines. They see a sucker born every minute and one standing on every street corner. And then they come in here and then they walk away three years later. And in this case, they're leaving a $12.5 million debt on the books. Angela Conley, uh, Conley John Morrow, Bob Brunel should be held accountable to this, but they won't. They'll skate. They're going to get a little bankruptcy notice from Schlegel Sports, 6-2 and even, adios. Tom Hicks, owner of the Texas Rangers, Dallas Stars, swoops in, buys up the team, takes whatever scraps are left, goes to Austin, gets his team in place there to feed players to his Dallas Stars across the state. It's perfect. And the Schlegels come out of this, just walk away, hands free, scot free. Bottom line is, no hockey this year in Des Moines. And you know what? AHL hockey in the foreseeable future, trust me, it is a hot coal. Jerry Crawford's group told you day one will not work the way it's structured. They learn the lessons the hard way sometimes, do they not? We come back inside the numbers tube talk. We'll put a wrap on a Thursday here on Mad Dog Marty, 62 and even.com. Don't go away.